the battlefield stretched out before Goku as he flew high above the kingdom's army. Below, the soldiers of Tristan were locked in fierce combat with Albion's forces, Goku could feel the chaotic energy of battle, the clang of swords, the explosion of spells, the cries of the wounded. But his focus wasn't on the foot soldiers. No. His attention was entirely on the dark presence, he could feel further up the battlefield. It was unmistakable, something powerful, something magical and deeply sinister. The dark sorcerer that Queen Henrietta had warned him about. As he flew over the battlefield, his eyes sharp and focused, he spotted the source of the disturbance, a robed figure standing at the edge of the enemy's formation, his hands raised as he chanted in an ancient language. The air around him shimmered with dark magic, tendrils of energy lashing out and tearing through Tristane's defenses with ease. This must be the guy, Goku muttered to himself as he landed on the ground, causing the earth to crack beneath his feet. The dark sorcerer slowly turned to face him, a twisted smile forming on his pale lips. Ah, you must be the infamous familiar I've heard so much about. Goku, isn't it? Goku's stance remained relaxed, though his eyes narrowed slightly. Yep, that's me. And you're the one causing all this trouble, huh? The sorcerer chuckled, his voice low and menacing. You're powerful, I can sense it. But you're still nothing compared to the forces of magic. I've tapped into a power far beyond anything your physical strength can handle. Goku grinned. Is that so? Well let's see what you've got. Without another word, the sorcerer unleashed a barrage of dark magic, black energy bolts crackling through the air as they hurtled toward Goku. But Goku didn't move. Instead, he raised his hand, catching the bolts effortlessly and dispelling them with a flick of his wrist. The sorcerer's eyes widened in shock. Impossible. My turn, Goku said with a smirk. In an instant, he powered up, his aura flaring to life around him as his hair turned bright golden. The familiar surge of energy rushed through him as he transformed into Super Saiyan Kama, his power shaking the battlefield. The soldiers on both sides stopped fighting, their attention drawn to the overwhelming force radiating from Goku. Even the dark sorcerer staggered back, his confidence faltering. This, this power. The sorcerer stammered. Goku didn't give him time to recover. In a flash, he was in front of the sorcerer, landing a powerful punch that sent him crashing through the ground, the earth splitting apart from the impact. The sorcerer groaned in pain, struggling to get back to his feet, but Goku was already there, grabbing him by the collar and lifting him effortlessly off the ground. Give up, Goku said calmly, you're not winning this. But the sorcerer only laughed, his eyes gleaming with madness. You fool, you don't understand the true power I wield. Suddenly, the ground beneath them shook violently, and dark tendrils of magic erupted from the earth, wrapping around Goku and binding him in place. The sorcerer grinned triumphantly as he floated back into the air, his body surrounded by a swirling vortex of dark energy. You see, Goku, I have harnessed the power of an ancient magic, one that even your strength cannot overcome. You may be strong, but you are still bound by the laws of this world. And in this world, magic reigns supreme. Goku struggled against the magical bonds, but they tightened around him, draining his energy. He could feel his power slipping away, the weight of the sorcerer's magic pressing down on him. Damn, I didn't expect this, Goku muttered, his teeth clenched. Back at the academy, Louise paced back and forth in her room, her heart pounding with worry. Goku had been gone for hours, and there had been no word from the battlefield. She knew he was strong, stronger than anyone she'd ever seen. But the thought of him facing a dark sorcerer filled her with dread. What if something happened to him? What if he didn't come back? Just as she was about to spiral deeper into her thoughts, the door to her room burst open, and Siesta rushed in, her face pale with fear. Miss Louise! Siesta cried, out of breath. There's news from the battlefield. Goku is in trouble. Louise's heart nearly stopped. What do you mean? What happened? They say he's fighting the dark sorcerer, but, but the magic is too strong. They're saying that Goku is being overwhelmed. Without a second thought, Louise grabbed her wand and rushed out of the room, her mind racing. She had to get to the battlefield. She had to help him somehow. Siesta followed close behind, her face set with determination. I'm coming with you. Louise nodded, too focused on her mission to argue. They had to save Goku. Back at the battlefield, Goku was still trapped, the dark magic sapping his strength. The sorcerer floated above him his laughter echoing across the battlefield as his magic grew stronger and stronger. But Goku wasn't ready to give up just yet. With a deep breath, he closed his eyes, focusing on his energy. He had been through worse before, he had faced gods of destruction, universe-shattering enemies, and survived. This was no different. I've been holding back too much, he muttered to himself. 
Guess I'll have to step it up. And then, with a roar that shook the ground, Goku's energy exploded. The golden aura around him turning a deep red as he ascended to Super Saiyan God. The bonds of magic around him shattered instantly. And the sorcerer's triumphant expression turned to one of sheer terror. What? What is this? Goku floated into the air, his eyes blazing with power. This is my true strength. You didn't think I was going to let some magic stop me, did you? The sorcerer screamed in rage, unleashing every ounce of magic he had left in a final desperate attack. But it was too late. With a single punch, Goku tore through the magic and sent the sorcerer flying, his body crumpling to the ground, defeated. The battlefield fell silent. Albion's forces, seeing their leader defeated so easily, began to retreat in fear. The soldiers of Tristan cheered, their morale restored as the enemy fled. Goku floated down to the ground, his transformation fading as he returned to his normal state. He wiped the sweat from his brow, grinning as he watched the enemy retreat. Well that wasn't too bad, he said to himself. A short distance away, Luis and Siesta arrived just in time to see Goku's final punch. Luis's heart nearly burst with relief as she saw him standing there, unharmed and victorious. She ran toward him, her feet barely touching the ground as she called out his name. Goku! Goku turned, his grin widening when he saw her. Hey, Luis! You should have seen it! That guy had some crazy magic, but I took care of it! Luis skidded to a stop in front of him, her chest heaving with exertion and emotion. Without thinking, she threw her arms around him, burying her face in his chest. I thought, I thought I lost you, she whispered, her voice trembling. Goku blinked in surprise, looking down at her. Huh? I'm fine Louise, don't worry about me. But Louise couldn't stop the tears from spilling over. She had never felt this kind of fear before, this kind of deep, overwhelming fear that she might lose him. And now, with the battle over, all those feelings she had been bottling up came rushing to the surface. Siesta, who had been watching from a distance, smiled sadly. She could see it clearly now. Louise was in love with Goku, and as much as it hurt, she knew she couldn't compete with that. Still, Siesta wasn't ready to give up just yet. Taking a deep breath, she walked over to them, her heart pounding. Goku, I need to tell you something. Louise stepped back, wiping her eyes as she turned to Siesta. What is it? Siesta hesitated, but then she looked directly at Goku, her eyes filled with detonation. Goku, I love you, and I want to be with you. Goku blinked, confused as ever. You mean like, training partners? Siesta shook her head, her face turning bright red. No, I mean like, forever. I want to marry you. Louise gasped, her heart lurching in her chest. This was it. Siesta was proposing again, and this time, she wasn't holding back. Goku rubbed the back of his head, clearly unsure how to respond. Bah, marriage? I don't really know what to say. Before he could figure out how to respond, Kershaw arrived on the scene, her arms crossed, and her expression amused. Looks like I'm late to the party. Don't forget, Goku, I was the first to propose. Louise's face turned bright red. Not this again. Kersha winked at Goku. You've got options, big guy. So, what do you say? Goku, still completely baffled, comma, looked between the three girls, his confusion growing by the second. Ah, uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but, I guess I like all of you. Louise groaned, burying her face in her hands. This was going to be a long day, 